the power of beliefs, Dr. Josh Axe says that that might be the single greatest factor in determining our future. And that's why he's developed a new prescription for a healthy mindset. Dr. Josh Axe is well known for the health advice he gives through books, TV, and a new podcast. He's passionate about helping people heal and prevent illness. In a new book, Dr. Axe deals with the mental side of wellness. He says a healthy mindset can dramatically improve our lives. In Think This, Not That, Dr. Axe shares his own struggle with negative beliefs and how we all can overcome them. All right, well, we got the awesome Dr. Josh Axe in the house, live in studio. Dr. Axe, thank you so much for being with us today. Actually, th thanks for having me. Of course, it's so nice to meet you in person. I wanna, before we get into the book, I, I, it, for those who don't know who you are, how did you even get into you know, alternative medicine? Because there's a really powerful story with that. Yeah, well, I got into natural medicine because a crisis in my own family. My mom was diagnosed with, with breast cancer. And mm -hmm. I remember growing up, her losing all of her hair and, uh, and just looking at all the extreme side effects of the chemotherapy, she eventually became cancer free, mm. but then was diagnosed again 10 years later. Wow. At that point, I'd become a doctor and I walked her through how to heal using food as medicine, biblical medicine of prayer and a number of things. Mm. And uh, God healed her completely yeah. uh, through, 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 through a lot of those principles. And so that's what start, had me uh, eventually start my functional medicine practice yeah. and then start my online website mm -hmm. and write, write a number of books, but it was through, through, through that experience. Oh my goodness, and you obviously are a believer. Um, talk about that moment when you really decided to walk with Jesus. Like, did you grow up in a Christian yeah. home? I did, I was blessed to have two Christian parents. Okay. I went through a, to a Christian uh, uh, school through eighth grade, and so my parents really instilled in me these, these biblical beliefs. Mm -hmm. And you know, I and, and and they've impacted my life in such a big way. If people have ever read my books or watched my my new podcast or yeah. anything I've put out, I think they'll see a lot of sort of biblical principles and narratives yes. throughout throughout everything that I do. Definitely. Well, you obviously, you know, you talk about healthy eating, natural remedies, alternative medicine, and yet you've come out with a book that talks about the mind. Why come out with a book talking about think this, not that, and about beliefs? You know, one of the things I found over the years in helping people heal is that the most important thing is not food as medicine, it's mindset medicine. And we know that this is very biblical, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Jesus is constantly talking about people in the Bible. It's your belief, it's your faith that heals you, but it's, it's our beliefs. Right. So that's so important. You know, I'll, I'll go back a little ways uh, into there's something called the placebo effect. Mm -hmm. And back during World War I, uh, the, the main physician ran out of morphine. And so there were all of these wounded soldiers who had lost limbs and had major pain. And because they ran out of morphine, he just said, well, I'm gonna give them a sugar pill. Mm. We found many of those people experienced uh, complete pain relief, wow. the exact same as if they were taking morphine. And we see in clinical studies today, if people simply believe they're going to be healed, in many cases, mm. they will be healed. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things, I, I wrote this book uh, and started to really teach my patients mindset medicine because I found that was the number one factor in them healing. There's something called neuroplasticity, where if you believe you're going to heal, your brain will start creating new neural pathways yeah. and send healing and growth factors to the area of your body that's injured or diseased, and so your body amazing. will actually start healing and repairing itself. And so it's really, we can awaken this power of healing yeah. through the power of belief. Absolutely, and obviously we have to talk about your personal journey with this. Mm -hmm. What I find is so crazy and amazing is that as you started to write this book, something really traumatic happened to you where you became paralyzed, you, like you could yeah. not walk. Yeah. Please tell us that whole experience and what happened to you. Well, it's so crazy because I, I was on the show just a few, you know, a few years yeah. ago. And then about a year later, uh, I, I, had, I had injured my back a little bit lifting weights and I decided to go in and get something called stem cell therapy, which by the way, the first time really helped. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I've got a little bit of a nagging issue. I'm gonna go and do this again. It's a natural procedure using your body's own bone marrow and uh, blood. Mm -hmm. And so I went in, got injected a few days later. I started feeling worse and worse. At, three months later, I woke up and then one, one day I just couldn't walk. The pain was so severe. I went in, I had to have an ambulance come pick me up. Oh my gosh. And it was so hard. I had a three-year-old daughter. She's crying and upset. What's wrong with daddy? And so go in, get an MRI, yeah. and they come back and say, you have a spinal infection. And they said, the problem is the infection is now in your disc. It's actually in the bone. 
and then there's an abscess by the spinal cord. I met with the doctor and he said, Josh, best case scenario, you're going to have pain the rest of your life and you'll be the first person to know when bad weather comes through. He said, worst case scenario, you're going to be permanently disabled. And this was about wow. a year and a half ago. Wow. And, um, and so, you know, for about 24 hours, actually, there were emotions I'd never experienced before. I felt despair. I felt yeah. hopelessness. And then the next day I woke up and I realized this isn't serving me. Mm. And I know that God is my healer. I don't need to focus on the diagnosis. I need to focus on the great physician. Mm. And so I started thinking about and, and going and, and realizing that I need to see myself in the future completely healed. I need to see myself throwing my baby girl up in the air again in the pool. Yeah. I need to see myself completely 100% healed. And so I started visualizing myself in that way. I started thanking God and praising him for healing me mm. and started fostering the beliefs. And I knew both the science of neuroplasticity yeah. that my body will send more of those healing signals when I believe certain things. Mm -hmm. And I knew those biblical principles. Yeah. And so I did that. And let me say this, it was, a, it was a total of 10 months I didn't walk at all and then two months on a walker. So I did not walk on my own for a full wow. year. In fact, this time last year, I was unable to walk. Oh my gosh. And I just started visualizing and praying to God and believing I would be healed. In fact, one of the things I wanted to be able to do is my sister-in-law asked me to officiate their wedding. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to do that. I wanted to be, be well enough to play with my daughter again. And yeah. then I was able to do that um, after about a year. And so it's been about 10 months since then. And here's the, here's the amazing thing is, is that I'm already better than the best that the doctor said I could oh possibly be. I don't have pain on. every day. I'm back working out yeah. and back, you know, teaching these principles. But, wow. but it's, you know, it's so much of it's through the power of, of, of belief and mindset. Right. And it's just so amazing. You have literally lived this out. Yes. 100%. I mean, what about those days where just fear and doubt seem to just be overwhelming your mind? Like, what did you do in those moments to overcome that and still have faith that you will be able to walk again? Well, I think there's a couple of things. Number one, I fixed my eyes on Jesus. Mm -hmm. I know he's, you know, he, he's my healer. And so praying daily yeah. and, and really looking at God's promises. You know, the other thing I would say, I had a friend come in when I was in bed and he said to me, he said, Josh, what, what have you been doing? And I said, well, I'm actually writing a new book and I'm doing this in business and I'm wow. doing this. And he goes, if I were you, I'd just be eating Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew all day. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, you know, for me, I have so much purpose in my life. Like I know that God has called me to do something. Right. Yeah. And that's a lot of what I hit on this book is helping people find their purpose, mm. helping people get clear, overcoming limiting beliefs. I mean, that was right. a huge thing. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people today, Ashley, that I saw in practice and recently I've talked to mm -hmm. that they have something holding them back in their life. It could be they don't feel beautiful or smart or, or maybe a doctor's told them you have to live with this condition or be on this pill the rest of your life. And oftentimes we believe in what I go through in the book, how to shatter those limiting beliefs, create new empowering beliefs yeah. that help us heal, that help us grow, that help us become the best mm. we can be. That's so powerful. You also talk about 12 mindset shifts and that's how the book is like yeah. organized. It's like each chapter is a mindset. Um, give us, give some like practical examples of what those mind, mind shift, mindset shifts, that's a tongue tie. Yeah. What, what are some of those? Yeah, well, one of them is uh, focus on uh, not accomplishing things, but becoming somebody great. We tend to have mm -hmm. a to-do list. I'm gonna do this, 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 and this versus no, I'm going to become more generous more kind, more wise, yeah. more like Christ. I remember when I was in youth group growing up, I had this WWJD bracelet. Yeah, yeah, what would yeah. Jesus do? But it's <laughs> thinking about who could I become? And, and, and it, what reminded me of this is um, I had my grandfather lived to be 96 years old. He was a huge fan of Pat and the show. Oh my gosh, that's and, awesome. Yeah, amazing man. Yeah. And you know, when I was at his funeral, everybody started standing up and saying, Howard saved my marriage. Howard was my best friend. Howard, And I think I realized at that time, that success in life is not what I accomplish, it's who I become as a person. That's mm -hmm. one mind shift I get into, uh, unlimiting your beliefs. So going from limiting beliefs to unlimiting beliefs, mm -hmm. which can help people experience yeah. healing and breakthrough. I go from aimless to being purpose-driven. Yeah. I, I really get into identity in the book. I get mm -hmm. into how to build positive perseverance and mindset and, and overcome anything in life, including those hardships. And so those are, those are a few. Yeah. Well, it, talk about, uh, you know, if you get the book there, you also have some videos that you're giving yeah. out for free that are just going to help yeah. go hand in hand with the book. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, I'll say one, this is the best book I've ever written. And so if you've <laughs> ever written an article or, or book I've written, this is the best, because again, I wrote it when I was in this position of not being able to walk for yeah. a full year, Gosh. poured my heart and soul into it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in this book, I also have a workbook 
I also have a video series. I also have a load of bonuses wow. and special interviews with some awesome Christian people. Yeah. And so if people go today and get the book on Amazon or anywhere, mm -hmm. they can then go to joshax.com and then just say, hey, I got the book, and then I'm gonna send you hundreds of dollars worth of free content for wow. free mm. for anyone who, who gets the book today. That is so awesome. Man, I wish we had more time. Thank you, Dr. Axe, for just everything that you're doing. Thank you for pouring out your heart and soul in this book. And we just, I, I know so many audience members are praising God for the healing testimony that you have, and I know it's touching so many lives, so well, thank you. Well, I know so many people prayed for me, and I'm so mm. grateful for it. And just remember, the power of belief, as it talks about in the Bible, is the most powerful form of medicine. Yes, yes, and amen. You're preaching. <laughs> You should add that to Thanks. your resume. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, Dr. Axe's latest book is called Think This, Not That, and it's available nationwide. Highly recommend you pick it up.